In this lecture, we're talking all about Google Ads. So, first of all, before we even start, I want you to know something. There's a little hack. Right now, if you go to the Google Ads page and you haven't never advertised on Google before, you'll get a free advertising credit. So right up here, you should be able to see at this little banner, pop-up campaign that says you'll get $500 for free ad credit when you spend 500 bucks. So technically it's not free, but you can spend 500 and you get in return a thousand dollar outcome. That's basically how it works. If you don't have this pop up, just uh, look it up in Google and you should be able to find this first time offer. It is valid um, in the US and in a lot of the other countries. So if you have Google Ads in another language, it may not be available. I'm sorry about that. So let's dive in. Uh, I'm assuming you have already set up a Google Ads account. If you haven't, you can go ahead and set it up. Nothing difficult or fancy. I'll leave that up to you. But once you set up a new account, you'll have the option to create a new campaign. There's lots of different options. So even though this is a Google product and Android is a Google product, you can also technically run ads for your iOS app. So this is not just for Android users. It is for um, iOS apps as well. However, we're going to focus on Android in this particular uh, video. So let's th talk through the different objectives. Uh, you can do sales um, by drive sales online and app by phone, um, leads, web traffic, all kinds of different stuff. The one we care about the most is app promotion. Get more installs engagement and re-engagement for your app because this one is focused mainly on an app product. So the campaign type is an app, pretty simple and straightforward. And then what do we want? We want app installs, we want app engagement or app pre-registration. This is Android only. So you can actually, when you do this, you can run ads for people to pre-order your app before you even launch. You can create uh, hype and excitement and on the day of your launch, you're gonna get a lot of installs. So if you haven't launched yet, this is a very good strategy. We're gonna go ahead and choose app installs because we already have an active app. And so you can do both iOS and Android actually. So we're gonna go ahead and select Android only. So this is the product Vitality uh, Research. It's the same app that we used in the previous experiment of doing the Apple search ads. And um, it was, it's not active anymore, this app. It was only for this uh, expedition to the South Pole, which was concluded as research. But now we can play around with the product in the videos. So campaign name, I'm going to go ahead and just do app promo as the name. We're going to continue. You're going to have several different options. And honestly, all of these will be different, uh, will be actually very similar for both iOS and Android apps. Um, so this is relevant for everyone. And if we're going to select the territory, you want to do all countries. And I would never recommend doing all countries. If you do all, you're going to spend most of your budget on default in the cheapest countries. Um, one of the cheapest is India. And you might get really, really cheap installs and a lot of traffic in India, but you're not going to get a lot of revenue that way. So we're going to select, I was previously advertising in Denmark, and so we're going to select a different country, and I'm going to put United States. Um, that is the best um, main market for an app, unless your app is specific to any one country. You can add more, but we'll just go with the US. And there's more location options, but uh, we're going to leave it as default. So people who are present um, in this country or interested. Uh, in this case, actually, uh, I would choose present. If somebody's interested in the US, they may not be physically located in there. So we're going to leave it at that. And then language is selected as English as default. Uh, if you're selecting a country, then you can also just leave it up to default. But you might have some you know, very specific app. Maybe you have an app that's targeted at people in the US, but who only speak Spanish. And so that you would do that. And there are more settings. Um, there is a started end date. A lot of these platforms will not create an end date because they want you to spend money forever, which is not a good idea. So we're going to select an end date because um, I would rather 
have to come back and restart the campaign, then forget about it and spend uh, ridiculous money in the next four months and not even know about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one week. Now you know the exact time this video was created. Um, one week is a good amount of time uh, for a test campaign. Obviously, if you're spending a lot more money and you have bigger plans, you can do a month or whatever fits for you. And in terms of settings, data feed, we're going to leave this as uh, basic as it is. So next. Um, we get an estimated shown over here, but it's not showing very well. So this current um, account is set up in Danish Corona because that's how it was set up in the beginning. It will be showing you your uh, currency wherever on the planet you are. So if I just do 100, um, I don't know what's the minimum here. 100 is about uh, 15 US dollars, about 12 euros. So it's actually very low budget and it lets me to do that. So um, that's not a problem. Actually, let me just bump it up 500. It's a bit closer to like 100 bucks. Uh, and what do you want to focus on? There's install volume. Then there are in-app actions and in-app action values. But for this, we would have to set up further analytics and conversion tracking using the analytics platform within Google's. We're not going to do all of that right now, but know that you could do that. Um, and that could be a good option. Maybe you can choose to focus on people who, let's say, complete a certain task within your app or spend more time within the app who you know retain and come back on day two, or if it's game, they create certain objectives. You can basically target high value users because not all users are high value. There's a small percentage of users who will end up subscribing to your app. Um, just know that if you pick one of these, it will take longer and it'll be more expensive, but that might be okay depending on your strategic objective. So we'll stay with the install volume. How do you want to track install volume? We don't have any uh, associated download conversion action with it. So for this, you would have to set it up. And I'm not going to go through all of the process right now, um, the conversion name and all of these things. Uh, it's very, pretty basic. You can set it up yourself. And finally, we have the option. They're asking us for targeted cost per install. So this is the same as on the Apple search ads that we did before. Um, it's asking us how much are we willing to pay per one install. So I'm going to put seven because that's about one US dollar. Uh, and here I get an estimate, weekly estimate, that at this I can get 40k installs and the cost will be just about $500. So that's what it's telling me that is um, the, the estimate that I'm going to get. Now let's talk about the cost per install. This is my bid, the maximum that I'm willing to pay. It doesn't mean it's going to be seven, it could be less. Um, it will not be definitely more because this is my maximum bid. But if there's not a lot of competition for this keyword or this this um, this uh, target group, then I might get installed just for five, for example, Corona, or maybe four, and it's fine. It'll never be it'll never be more. Uh, if the cost is higher than seven, then I am simply not going to get any installs. If my competition is willing to pay double, I'm not going to get any installs, and they'll get the majority. So you don't know what is. The, the ultimate number here. You don't know what's the optimum number because that number also changes. There's seasonality, there's competition that goes in and out. There's a lots of different variables that matter in here. And you're not going to know the perfect number. So the best thing to do is just to start pretty low. Um, you can do some Google search and find out what is the approximate cost per install in your country and category. But it, it is it is difficult to to figure out an estimate, to be honest. So... I would say start low, do like a dollar, and then see where it goes. If nothing happens, if you can install uh, in 24 hours, then you can bump it up to a higher number. But definitely don't start too high because you're going to blast through your budget very quickly. So I'm going to go next. And here we have the option. Um, in the previous lecture, I talked about the three layers of advertising. You have the campaign level, the ad group level, and then the ad level. So it's the same. We set up the ad uh, campaign and now we're going to add up set up the ad group i'm going to hide all of these i'm sorry it's from previous accounts this is not an active account so there's a lot of <laughs> warnings over here but here we have the ad group level so this is where you actually can set up up to five different headlines um, up to five different descriptions and then 20 images and videos or html5 um, pieces 
The beauty of Google Ads is that they're going to mix and match all of these combinations and find the perfect combo just for you. So you don't have to set up you know, 20 different groups for 20 different images. You can just do it all in one and they'll do all of the work. So let's try to put in a couple of these headlines and then see what happens. So this is a uh, research app, not really for consumers, but it was a mental health tool. So I'm just gonna write um, mental health. I'll put uh, brain health tracker and maybe uh, mindset habit. Those will be my three headlines I can try. It's up to five, but it doesn't have to be five and you have 30 characters. And in description, I'll use um, top mental health tool to track your depression. For example, uh, you can write whatever you want. It just doesn't have to, it can be offensive, but otherwise you feel free to, to do whatever you want. And let's add a couple of images. I don't have any images in my asset library, so I'm gonna upload some. Upload from computer. And I don't have any files here, but I'm gonna upload my logo. My personal brand and I'm gonna add another one and do the other logo that's just my name so we're gonna select so obviously this is not a good image because it doesn't fit very well but we're gonna select that one and over here do the same focus on the first name and it's gonna crop and then I can save this option we have these two options for the different images. And as we'll see later on, they're displayed over here. Uh, I'm not gonna add any videos, but it's the same process as you have seen before and HTML as well. Then this is the basic, um, and I'm gonna do advanced option. You can add the app URL to deep link within your product. We're not gonna focus on that right now. So we don't have any videos, but we have some headlines. The ad strength, what it means by strength is um, uh, basically how many things have I filled in. It is poor because I haven't used all the descriptions, all the headlines and all 20 images. But for the purpose of explaining this tutorial for you, we're not gonna go through all of it. And so here you can try out, see it crops out the logo and uses the logo as an image. Obviously this would be something that's promoting your app. It could be a screenshot or a gameplay or, or whatever it is. And the beauty of Google is that it's such a big platform and it's got so many different ways to distribute a product. So you can have display ads on the web, there could be search ads when people are using the search bar, YouTube ads, it's all displayed here and you can see all the different options of where your ad is going to be displayed. Here it is, for example, within the discovery tab on the um, Play Store. So that's what we have in terms of creatives. So we've covered the campaign level, ad group level and the ad level i'm going to go click next and i get the final review process so here you can adjust any of the things um, if you want to i'm going to say it's pretty good i'm going to publish the campaign the best way to run the campaign in my opinion is to run it for about a week don't spend too much money just to test it out and see what happens and you're going to see this kind of ad group campaign performance so we have the conversions which means how many actual installs we got cost per conversion this is our target but maybe it is much lower so it shows you the cost the cost per install if the conversion is different than the install it shows there cost per install or in-app action we don't have to view through you have the installs in-app actions again um, all of the breakdown that was possible and the conversion rate and the overall cost it's pretty simple and um, that's pretty much it really there's it's, it's not rocket surgery there's not much more to it the more images and videos and text you add, the longer it is going to take to find the optimal solution because Google will have to run through all of the variations and have to show it to thousands of people, which is not a bad thing. You do want to find the best performing ones because you never know what's going to work. It is very rarely the ad that you think is going to work that actually works. From my experience, it's, um, it, it's never the stuff that I would predict. Uh, if you have any questions about what kind of creatives, please go back to the lecture where we talk about how to get creatives. It is at the beginning of this section. But now you know how to run Google Ads. Congratulations. This is the basic setup. And we created the app um, objective. Of course, you can also you can uh, create a web objective. So you can drive traffic to your website 
where then they can click on your app and download it both iOS and Android. Or there's all kinds of different variations, but this is the basic Google Ads setup, and this can get you pretty far. Google is an incredibly powerful product, and even though this is all very simple, um, the engine behind it is extremely powerful, and you can build a massive, massive business just on the back of Google Ads.